While the coroner performs an autopsy on that crash victim here at the Miami Valley Regional Crime Lab, police are still trying to piece together what exactly happened. This is a tragic outcome. A crash so violent it sent debris flying all over the roadway. We got a lot of debris, a lot of um, you know evidence that we're going through right now. It's taking a lot of time. But the crash happened just before 6 a.m. between a silver van and a gray car on Quaker Trace in southern Preble County. Because of the magnitude of the crash, investigators say they're still trying to figure out what happened. Um, and the other vehicle was uh, southbound, one was northbound, and you know we're looking at this driveway access being part of it was somebody trying to turn into it, come out of it. Investigators say the driver of the car, 39-year-old Shanita Adams of Eaton, was killed on impact and she wasn't wearing her seatbelt. They say she was delivering newspapers at the time of the crash. Um, there are some seatbelt exemptions when you're delivering, you're a, d a delivery courier person, so, you know, um, but really at this point in the, in the magnitude of the crash, it's one of those where, you know, it probably wouldn't make any difference. The woman driving the van was taken to Miami Valley Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Investigators say no one else was involved and there are no witnesses. But because this is such a close community, many people showed up at the scene to find out what was going on. Yeah, it's a tight-knit community, even though it's out in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of the country. Um, they are tight. Everybody knows each other, so everybody's concerned. Investigators don't believe alcohol or speed were factors in this crash. We'll have the latest on the investigation tonight on 2 News at 11. For now, reporting live, Jackie Sprague, 2 News.